Tonight was a battle of the first round draft picks, but <laughs> it's not about Caitlin Clark in this one. It is about the first overall pick in 2022 and Ryan Howard versus the first overall pick in 2023 in Aaliyah Boston and they went toe to toe in a great battle tonight. You see Ryan Howard right there kicking off the game, um, getting hot from field goal range. And then you'll see her just showing off that range a little bit. Boom, she gets hot also um, from three. And you can see that as a consistent theme throughout the night. Another player you're gonna have to pay attention to as we go through this highlight is Kelsey Mitchell. She had a phenomenal game. She showed all the creativity at the basket. She showed elite hustle. Well, Watch this on this play. You see this ball and look at the speed. Kelsey Mitchell did things tonight that if at any point, at any point, if Caitlin Clark would have done the exact same thing, y'all would have crowned her the second coming for sure. Inside, CP got busy. Listen, she came off the bench tonight and she talked about it, providing that spark. She provided 18 points and six rebounds off the bench. She did a really nice job. Caitlin Clark didn't go off tonight, but she did get busy just, just, just a little bit. Seven points in this one. She did more of her work in the assist area, and I can see why. Just get the ball inside to Aaliyah Boston, and she is going to go to work, and nobody could mess with her tonight. It didn't matter if it was Tina Charles. It didn't matter if it was CP. Everybody was having trouble dealing with, dealing with the problem that is Aaliyah Boston. Now, across the board you can see Aaliyah Boston getting crazy but don't forget Kelsey Mitchell boom watch that <laughs> I'm telling y'all if 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 Kayla did any of this it would have been a problem you wouldn't have been able to shut people up on the internet now Aaliyah Boston consistently went to work and she went to work all the well the entire first half she had a lot of their first half points now watch this watch this watch this mm, mm, Mitchell Boom. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So throughout this, you're going to see a consistent theme in the first half of an of the Atlanta Dream actually not playing up to par, not playing up to their talent level, losing big time um, to this Indiana Fever team. They um, go into the half. Taking away their options. Here's the coach said hot. about the first so half. Mitchell got hot. Um, obviously, Boston got hot. So we, we needed to do a better job of that. But I think the second half, we got a little bit more back to, to ourselves and playing like um, playing Atlanta basketball, how we've played in the last, the last two years. And they were a different team in the second half. At one point, they were down by 18 points. Ryan Howard and her hot shooting got them to the point where they actually took the lead by one late in the fourth quarter. However, in the end, it's too much Aaliyah Boston, too much Kelsey Mitchell. Mitchell did contribute with three um, three pointers. That was not one of them, but watch Aaliyah Boston again. She finished the night with 27 points, 13 rebounds, and she showed why she was the number one overall pick in 2023. Now, when they end up the game, this is what I mean by Mitchell. Look at this elite hustle and creativity at the basket. Tomorrow's headlines will most likely read, hot fever, bad dreams. <laughs> and... I completely understand why they did come back in the second half. Um, shout out to them for their resiliency, but it was too much Aaliyah Boston tonight. Let's. I'm, I'm looking forward to what's going to happen with this Fever team as we continue to see them evolve and get to know each other on the court. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Ray J. I want to send a big shout out to the Titus Golden Foundation and Ozell Brand in Kansas City, Missouri. A brother see a need for the community and he's trying to rebuild it. That's big. Salute to Titus. Keep doing your thing. Keep being a philanthropist. Keep helping the community out. Community is what matters. Salute again. It's not just about the love of the game. It's about dedication and commitment through the process and the patience to endure. There's joy in reaching your goals and peace in knowing you've done all you're supposed to do. Ozell Brand. It's not just a brand, it's a lifestyle.